So, so there's nothing that really makes me feel any more fancy on a cruise ship than being able to jump on the telephone James Bond style, call a complete stranger, and have them bring me a grilled cheese sandwich to my cruise cabin. Yeah, I'm talking about room service. It, it's super popular. It's a cornerstone, I would say, of that cruise life. But there's one aspect of room service that grosses me out. I don't know why they do it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony with the La Lita Loca Cruise Show. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you enjoy cruising, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of the shows. I love room service. Let me say it again. I think it is so fun to be able to have food delivered to your room. So if you wanna just have some time to chillax, if you want a little nap time and you want a little snack, you can get the, you can get the food delivered right to your room. Many of the cruise lines offer free room service at certain times of the day. Many cruise lines offer room service for just a nominal fee. Well, what I want to talk about in today's episode is what do you do after your post room service bliss? What do you do after you've consumed those luscious calories and you're staring at a tray of dirty dishes? What do you do? It's a mixed bag. There's m multiple schools of thought on what you want to do. I want to talk about that and then uh, maybe a little bonus treat on today's show. I actually have some footage of when I ordered room service on the Spectrum of the Seas when I was uh, in Japan. How about that? So what does room service look like on a primarily Asian cruise ship? Uh, so stay tuned to the end for that if you want to see that footage. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the tray in the hallway. Now look, I do not like PDG. I do not like public displays of garbage. I want trash, I want food, I want dirty dishes to have a place. And I tell you what, I've been on a few cruise ships that sometimes when you're walking the halls, just trying to get back to your cabin or walking the halls trying to get to your next destination, you got to, you got to do a little uh, obstacle course of dirty dishes. Yes, people have eaten their room service food and then they have taken the tray that it was on, they placed it outside their door, garbage in the hallway waiting for people to pick it up. It's a little gross. If you see somebody's half-eaten hamburger with a smeared blob of ketchup that people drug their fries through, and it's disgusting. It makes me excited that there's no smoking on a cruise ship because you know if there was smoking, there would be cigarette butts in that food, and that would be even grosser. But yes, uh, sometimes you see dishes in the hallway, and uh, I don't know why. Now, I do know for sure on Carnival Cruise Lines, the reason that they do this is by design. The preferred method for disposing of your room service tray on Carnival Cruise Lines is to set that dirty dish in the hallway. Brand ambassador John Heald on his Facebook page, he said the reason they do that is the same people that clean your cabin are not the same people in charge of of dirty dishes. So that's got my mind spinning a little bit. Okay, so the room steward doesn't handle the dirty dishes. There's a whole different crew. Why, why is that out in the hallway? I think the first reason that that is out in the hallway is because they want to minimize the amount of people that have access to your cabin. I'm, I'm assuming that they do not want uh, everybody to have a key to the cabin, and I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I guess my understanding of when I go cruising is that I have a key to my cabin, my room steward has a key to my cabin, and then probably the ship management, the security or something, has a key to my cabin. I don't know that for sure, they don't really tell you that, but I think that's a fair assumption, and based on this idea that they want you to put your uh, dishes out in the hallway on Carnival, at least that's telling me that the people that deliver room service don't have a key to your cabin. So I get it, they don't want a lot of people having keys to your room, so I'm like, well, how are they gonna do it if they don't want a lot of people having keys to your room so that it's not, you know, trays in the hallway? Is trays in the hallway the only option? It got me thinking when I did cruise to Asia with our friend Don Terrace from Don's Family Vacations, make sure you check that channel out, uh, we had room service a couple times at Shanghai Disney, and the way that they did it is, of course, they dropped the food off, and then a half an hour after we ate, they would call us and say, are you done eating? Can we come get the tray? So I guess that I'm assuming that the room service people at Disney did not have a key to our room, and this was the way that they were able to gather up the dishes and not burden housekeeping with dishes. Is that viable on a cruise ship? I, you know, I did this poll on the La Lita Loca 
uh, cruising community and 70% of the people uh, polled they've had room service on a cruise so that would be a lot of going back it'd be a lot of going back to try to gather up dishes so maybe maybe i understand no real great resolution to this today other than to say i, I don't like the trays in the hallway i personally haven't left them there and i've been fine but uh, i don't know every cruise line so can you help me out in the comments today tell me whether or not you've gotten room service and what you did with your dirty dishes and tell me what cruise line you're on. I'd love to see that data and uh, get some sort of sense of what's going on. But don't leave yet, I did promise some bonus footage. Yes, when I was on the Spectrum of the Seas uh, last year uh, off the coast of Japan, uh, there was one day where I had a big gap of time. I was just gonna work in my cabin and I ordered some room service. And so if you're curious as to the way that Royal Caribbean does their room service, I'm gonna show you the menu. I'm gonna show you what I got and uh, and how it worked, how long it took. So uh, here is room service on the Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas. So I'm, I think I'm gonna stay in the cabin. It's about 12.33, uh, chill out a little bit. I've got some work to do. I'm not gonna eat dinner until after eight o'clock tonight. We have chops after the Silk Road show. And so I might just do lunch here in the cabin. I might try room service. So they have some interesting room service. Uh, let me show you the menu here. And the way room service works uh, with Royal is you can choose whatever you want off of this menu and it's a $7.95 fee. So whether you choose one item or whether you choose four items, it's a $7.95. So there's some interesting things I definitely wanna try and see how long it takes to get here. Uh, maybe the, I don't know. I wanna try something Asian. They've got some pork dumplings. They've got some honey glazed chicken wings, uh, the Royal Burger. So I think I'm gonna order some room service for lunch and afternoon snack, just pile all this into the room while I work on some videos and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll, I'll let you know. I'll place the order and see how long it takes. Okay, the clock has started. I, I've ordered room service at 12.42. I got four items. I got the grilled cheese. I got the honey glazed chicken wings. I got pork dumplings and I got spring rolls. So uh, not a well-balanced meal, but enough food I think to get me through to the evening and uh, to try some room service so we'll see how long it takes okay so quick time check it is uh, 107 so that's 18 minutes and 7 minutes 25 minutes and uh, again I think because I knew I was getting charged the seven bucks I did order more so those are the spring rolls looks interesting hmm this is the grilled cheese sandwich. That's interesting, it doesn't look like a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwich with french, I mean, it looks like a cheese sandwich. A grilled cheese comes with a lot of french fries. It's gonna be way more food than I will partake in. This is what I was really looking forward to, actually, the pork dumplings. Yummo! And what else did we get? Oh, the honey chicken wings. All right, so a good variety of things to try. All this food looks and smells really good. And uh, I'm going to keep working and nibble on a little bit of food, but that's the room service experience. Altogether, it was maybe nine dollars, and I gave them a couple extra dollars in tip. But seven ninety five is the base charge. There was an additional charge for my soda. Uh, but yeah, this is a good way if you want to stay in your cabin and do some stuff and want to get some food. Of course, there's tons of included food options and. Uh, I normally wouldn't get room service, but I just wanted to show you guys how it works. So, got some food, got some work to do. Room service, easy peasy. Room service maybe encourages gluttony, right? I did eat all that food, for good or bad, because I'm an anti-food waste kind of person. Fortunately, I had a big gap of time. I ate that food over a period of time, but part of me said, look, for $7.95, I'm not just gonna get that sad cheese sandwich. I gotta get more, I gotta get some bang for my buck. So. I don't think I'm alone in that thought process. But yes, th that was my room service on the spectrum of the seas. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me how room service works for you on your favorite cruise line. This is Tony for the La Lita Loca Cruise Show. There's gonna be another video for you to watch popping up there. I'd appreciate you watching it. Thanks so much for stopping by and until the next time, 
We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.